Hello dear students and welcome to our today's lecture on functions of SCERT. The National Policy on Education 1986 recommended the creation of State Council of Education, Research and Training in each state as a measure of decentralization of functions of quality education, research and training. The National Policy on Education 1986 laid emphasis on the improvement of quality in education and suggested to adopt some programs such as number one improvement of curriculum number two teacher enrichment program number three continuous and comprehensive evaluation number four availability of quality textbooks number five improvisation and utilization of teaching aids, etc. Alternative strategies for education, particularly informal education, and scheme for vocationalization of education at plus two stage have also been highlighted in consideration of today and tomorrow. It was contemplated that SCERT at the state level will carry out all these activities as a counterpart of NCERT for the qualitative improvement of education in the states. Since 1986, the government of India has repeatedly issued instructions to establish State Council of Education, Research and Training at the state level. Acting upon such instructions, the state government of Tripura established SCERT at Agartala in 1996 by amalgamating these four organizations. Number one, State Institute of Education. Number two, Tribal Language Cell. Number three, Bureau of Educational and Vocational Guidance. And number four, Educational Publication Unit. Dear students, let's also have a look at the brief history and background of SCERT's establishment. The 1986 National Policy on Education recommended the creation of State Council of Education, Research and Training in each state as a measure of decentralization of functions of quality education, research and training. SCERT Delhi was set up as an autonomous body under the Society's Registration Act in May 1988. It receives funding from GNCT of Delhi under the Grants in Aid scheme. Nine district institutes of education and training, that is diets, have been set up for each of the nine revenue districts in Delhi and these operate under the overall administrative control of SCERT. Funding for diets comes from MHRD, that's Ministry of Human Resource Development, under the centrally sponsored scheme for teacher education and reorganization and is routed through GNCTD. SCERT is also the affiliating body for elementary Teacher Education or ETE course and Early Childhood Care and Education that is ECCE course. SCERT is responsible for preparing the curriculum, prescribing syllabi, course of study and academic calendar for these courses. SCERT also conducts the entrance examination for its affiliate institutes and admits candidates for the course. SCERT awards the diploma to successful students in ETE and NTT courses. As on date, apart from diets, 10 private institutions are affiliated to SCERT for conducting the pre-service elementary teacher education course and 18 private institutions are affiliated for the Early Childhood Care and Education course. 
SCERT organizes in-service teacher education programs for teachers on MCD and DTE of education. Special workshops for heads of schools are also undertaken. During the period 1991 to 2005, SCERT along with diets have organized in-service training or orientation programs for 91,273 personnel, heads of schools, educational administrators, and teachers. SCERT is responsible for material development both for children and support materials for teachers. Other functions include research in various aspects for qualitative improvement of school education. Between 1988 to 2005, 215 publications have been brought out by SCERT. Both SCERT and DIETS are also resource support organizations for Universal Elementary Education Mission, that is UEEM, under which Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan and Primary Education Enhancement Programs are undertaken. Dear students, let's understand the mission or vision for which SCERT was established. I will point them out. Number one, to work towards universal elementary education of equitable quality for all children in Delhi. Number two, to work towards quality improvement at all spheres and at all levels of education. Number three, to work towards universal elementary education and universal adult literacy. Number four, to act as resource support agency for policy, planning, research, training, and material development for the school system in Delhi. Number five, to act as affiliating agency for elementary and preschool teacher education courses and teacher education institutes working in the GNCT of Delhi. Number six, to design courses for professional development of teachers. Number seven, to frame curricula, syllabi, textbooks, materials, and evaluation framework for educational administrators, teachers, and children. Dear students, let's also understand some of the aims and objectives of the organization. As per the Memorandum of Association of SCERT, a society registered under the Societies Act, the objectives of the Council shall be to assist and advise the administration of Delhi in the implementation of its policies and major programs for human resource development, especially in the field of education, women and child development, national integration and related areas. To promote educational researches and training of teachers and other personnel. To develop the curriculum aiming at an all-round development of the child and at all levels of education. To develop and produce teaching learning materials. To develop educational technology for use in the teaching learning activities and training programs and to provide distance education. One of the other aims is to devise the systems and approaches for qualitative education and also to develop scientific processes of evaluation of the pupil and the educational programs and institutions. To develop the strategies to achieve the goals of education for equality, to establish linkages with SCERT, various departments of Universities of Delhi, Administration of Union Territory of Delhi, Department of Education, other educational institutions of Central and Delhi Administration. One of the aims also include to develop, adopt, 
or adapt and produce curricular materials, textbooks and other related instructional materials. It also includes to develop educational materials for the education and guidance of children from disadvantaged group. The aims to establish SCRT also include to guide, develop and provide educational materials for non-formal education or educational functional literature. The aims include to promote and assist Delhi administration in SUPW and vocational education in the state or union territory of Delhi. It also includes to improve the existing examination system and to prepare relevant materials in different areas for school education. The aims include to provide pre-service and in-service training to teachers at all levels of school education. Dear students, let's understand some of the functions of SCERT. Let me point them out for you. Number one, development of curriculum, syllabus and instructional material for primary, upper primary, secondary and alternative systems of education. Number two, development of curriculum and material for pre-service teacher education courses like pre-primary teacher education course, D.Ed, Pandit courses, Telugu Pandit, Hindi Pandit and Urdu Pandit courses. Number three, development of new evaluation procedures and material for use by schools and teacher education institutes. The functions of SCERT also include organization of orientation or in-service programs for the professional growth of teachers, teacher educators and other departmental personnel. The fourth function for SCERT include conducting research in education with focus on school and teacher education. The fifth function is implementation of a right to education act as academic authority at state level by discharging all such relevant activities articulated in the act. The sixth function is monitoring, supervision and guidance for effective classroom practices. This includes bridging gap between methods and techniques advocated in training programs and the actual classroom practices. Number seven, development of programs for school and teacher education adopting latest educational technology and ICT, that is development of computer software, telemode training through EDUSAT, etc. and dissemination to micro level. The eighth function is providing resource support in implementing the academic policies and schemes laid down by the government like AEP, inclusive and girl child education, etc. Number eight, dissemination of knowledge relating to contemporary developments to be adopted by schools and teacher education institutions. The ninth function is coordination with national and international academic organizations relating to school and teacher education. The other function, which is our tenth on the list, is publication of journals, periodicals, books, etc. And to act as an agent of change in school education and non-formal education in general and teacher education in particular. One of the functions of SCERT is to arrange for in-service training and orientation of supervisory or inspecting officers, teacher educators dealing with preschool, elementary and secondary and higher secondary education in the state. The other function is to organize programs including correspondence come contact courses for the overall professional development of teachers, teacher educators, and supervisory or inspecting officers. 
Another function of SCERT is to provide extension services to teacher training institutions at all the levels in the state and to coordinate the extension service centers of the teacher training institutions in the state. SCERT also produces curricula, instructional materials, textbooks and other materials for the use of educational institution and teachers of preschool, elementary, secondary and higher secondary stages in the state. SCERT arranges for and coordinate the work of framing curricula and prescribing textbooks for the school and teacher training institutions at the preschool and primary stages. It also undertakes specific projects at all levels of school education, as may be entrusted by the government from time to time. SCERT acts as an efficient academic functionary, capable of planning, organizing and executing programs of various activities envisaged in the National Policy on Education 1986. SCERT conducts various examinations including conduct of final basic training examination for undergraduate course as well as Madhyamik plucked Kok Borok teacher training as well as competition etc. at different levels. SCERT prepares, produces and distributes nationalized textbooks. It also conducts training and orientation of teachers, headmasters, supervisors in guidance and counseling. One of the functions of SCRT is to prepare and produce textbooks and other instructional materials in tribal and other languages. SCERT undertakes action research for qualitative improvement in curriculum, teacher education, guidance and counseling, textbooks, evaluation, educational technology, planning and administration, etc. It conducts orientation training for teachers, headmasters, supervisors, teacher educators, etc. in science and mathematics education. SCRT also organizes workshops, etc. for innovation and improvisation of teaching aids for science, mathematics and other subject areas and softwares for educational technology programs. SCERT works for the development of the minority and tribal languages and also takes necessary initiative to prepare books on those languages for primary and secondary level. SCERT has been allocated a major job to use modern techniques like EDUSAT, Network to Education for teacher training as well as classroom teaching purpose. SCRT is also responsible for implementing computer training and computer-aided learning. With this, we come to the end of our today's lecture on SCERT and its functions. Hope it was helpful for you. Thank you for watching and have a good day.